Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, from 1955. Who died and made him king? Theme song. Calendar Gives. Calendar Gives. If you want to watch Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, it's on Disney Plus, but check the links below for other links. So, this is the last review of the year. It's been cold here in the Midwest. Got a burst pipe, so I haven't been able to take a shower for a couple days. Fun times. Anyway, I grew up, I was in the Cub Scouts and the Boy Scouts, and our Boy Scout leader, he was older guy. And so I always associate these kind of Disney Davy Crockett shows with him and Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. And I've already said in an earlier review that I am a fan of the old Tarzan movies. So when I saw this on Disney, I'm like, I'm going for it. Now, this did originate as episodes of Disney. Uh, their Wonderful World of Disney it wasn't called that at the time, but that's the most common name. And they took, for this, they took three episodes, the three episodes, and they edited it together to a movie. Then, those three episodes were so popular, they later went and made two more. And they made the second movie of that. But I'm doing this first movie, King of the Wild Frontier. And the question is, is it worth watching today? The answer is kind of. The fact that it was edited together from three episodes kind of shows, because it's three sort of acts. The beginning in the end are pretty good. The start off with him uh, fighting as, as a volunteer. Dropped in to say goodbye. Goodbye? Where do you think you're going? Home. You're going after Red Stick with the rest of my command. This war isn't over yet. I ain't quitting the war. Me and my neighbors will be back directly. You see, General, we only volunteered for 60 days and that's long since up. In, against, in, in, the, in the military against Native Americans. And that's kind of the racist aspect. So he, the, even though later on he makes a speech about how, oh gosh, shucks, we're all people, and we, even if we believe different things, we should abide by them or respect each other. The government's promises set down in the Indian treaties is as sacred as your own work. Expansion ain't no excuse for persecuting a whole part of our people because their skins is red and they're uneducated to our ways. But at the same time. They didn't bother to hire Native American actors. They didn't bother to have an actual Native American language. No, they just got white guys painting them red and had them speak gibberish. I don't know what he said, but I sure don't like it. Now, I mean, they do have kind of treat them as people. So it's not a super stereotypical depiction. Then the middle part is the worst part. This is the second episode where uh, Davey Winston becomes a representative in the U.S. government. And he, again, his uh, all shucks wisdom helps him outsmart the wily politicians. I'm warning you, Crockett. Go in there and you're committing political suicide. You know what I think about your kind of politics? It's not nearly as fun as him out on the frontier and in, in, in the wilderness. Then the last episode picks up again, which is where Davy decides to go fight in the Alamo. Ignoring, of course, the, <laughs> the implications. Why are these people trying to take this land from Mexico? And it's kind of weird because along the way, he uh, meets up with somebody. I can't remember if he was Irish or from the UK. Sorry. Uh, who doesn't really know anything about anything, and he's just like, sure, I'll go along with you. Now, I know nothing of this Texas of which you speak, but I do know the fury of the outraged minions of the law, and as a consequence, I fear what lies behind me far more than the unknown which lies ahead. <laughs> now, surely, sir, you'll not deny me the pleasure of your illustrious company. So you're taking this dude to a certain death, and then they also see a Native American guy who, like, gets hurt and they nurse him back to health and he goes with them. It's like, why are you why are you creating these fictional characters that are going off to die? I don't know. But certainly as Davy Crockett, Fess Parker has a great charm. 
He's got the, he does have the all shucks wisdom. And even though uh, they even say in the song, you know, he tells stories about himself, but it's not really bragging because most of the time he can uh, back it up. And I will say that if you're on the fence about it, the second one, Davy Crockett and the River Pirates, they, is a prequel because, you know, he dies at the end of this one. And I like that one better. So maybe go watch that one. But I watched, I watched King of the Wild Frontier first. But if you want to watch the River Pirates first, that would be a good idea. But all in all, I did like it. I, you know, the, the, it was, did have this weird mixture of, hey, we should be tolerant of everybody, but then we're not going to bother learning about other people's, like, you know, cultures. It did interest me enough that I went um, hunting down the individual episodes so I can see what they cut out. And all in all, I'm going to give Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, three thumbs up. That song's a banger. The racism's accurate. At least for the times. That's it. And yeah, again, I'm not saying it's accurate that their racism, it's wrong, but people were racist as, as shit back then, so that's accurate that their race... Like and subscribe. And then I can get some water back and I can take a shower.